This is Access 2019, Module 5, Part 5. In this segment, we will begin looking at the parameter queries. What a parameter query is going to do is it's going to pop up and ask us a question when we run the query. That question, how we answer that, is going to become the criteria in running the query. So this first one we're going to do, we're going to create it so that if a question is left blank, no records will be returned. Let's go ahead and get into our database. So we're going to get into our clinic database. We're going to locate our query that says patients by name. We're going to copy that and we're going to paste it. We're going to give it a new name. We're going to get rid of copy of and it's going to say patients by city parameter. Patients by city parameter. Now you want to make sure you open the correct one. So double check the name up here, patients by city parameter. Then go to the design view. In order to enter a parameter box you, or criteria, you do not want to use the parameter button. This button allows us to specify the type of data that can be entered in the box. We won't be using that in this class. If you enter your parameter up there, it does not filter your data. So we're going to go down to the criteria row under the city field, and a parameter query has to be typed in square brackets. So you're going to have a square bracket, and inside that, you're going to put whatever the prompt is that you wanted to ask when it, you run the query. So we're going to say type the city. And close the square bracket. So when I run my query and I type in Decatur, I only see Decatur as my results. In order to run the query or to have the parameter pop up, you either have to go back to the design view and click run again, or you have to double click to open the query. So you'd have to close it and then reopen it. If we run it again and leave it blank, you see we get nothing. So I want to show you what will happen if you use the other, the way you're not supposed to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And I'm going to put, I'm just going to call this parameter button. Wrong. So I find my one that says parameter button. Notice if I leave it blank, I get nothing. So I'm going to remove the parameter down here. I'm going to go up to my parameter button and I'm going to type in square brackets, type the city, colon, square bracket. Now here, this is what this is really used for. If I wanted to specify the type of data that could go in this field, make it a yes or no answer. Make it a currency so you know it has to be a number. This is what this is for, is to specify the data type. 
But if I put it there and I don't put something down on the criteria row, watch what happens. It does pop up and ask me the question, but it didn't filter. If I run it again and I type in Decatur, I still get everything. So if you don't put the parameter on the criteria row, it will not filter your data. Let's go back and take a look at what this is actually doing on the city parameter one. So I'm going to open this up. I can say Atlanta. And you see it brings in all of the people from Atlanta. So what it does when you create a parameter query is the square brackets and the prompt get replaced with whatever you type in. So if I type in Atlanta, it looks only for the rows that have Atlanta. If I type in nothing and leave it blank, it looks for the rows that are blank. So now let's look at how we can fix this so that if I wanted it to return all of the records when I left it blank, it would do that. I'm going to, the book has us change the existing parameter. I prefer to create a new one so that you can go back and see the difference later on. Okay, so we're going to do a right click. Well, we're actually going to do this in our next segment. So keep in mind, we're going to create a new query that's going to modify this one and allow us to return all records.